Good morning, Madam Tina. Uh, as I told you today, I will try to answer your questions about the uh, process pronouns. And here we are, you can see uh, we have the title of Adama and Al Mutasila, which means the attached pronouns. In Arabic language, we have two types of pronouns. We have the separated pronouns, we call it Adama and Al Mutasila. It's the pronouns that you already know. I mean, Ana, Nahnu, Hua, Hia. And the other pronouns, which is the, uh, the attached pronouns, Adama and Al Mutasila. Okay. In these pronouns, uh, it's attached, as the name is mentioning. And we have, for example, here, I wrote the names that you asked about, Ism, Bint, Kitab, and Shuraba. Ism, now, it Bint, daughter. Kitab, book. Shuraba, soup. So, to mention that this is this name is mine, or to say my name in Arabic, we need only to add the yeah at the end. And I wrote it here in, in uh, red color. So we say, is me. The second, uh, instead of saying bint, which means a girl, or to say my girl, I will say, or my daughter, I will say binti. Kitab, uh, adia, and I will say kitabi. Shuraba, so to say my soup, I will say shurabati. Here I have the root, yeah, is the equal of my English. Okay, let's see the other, uh, the other uh, cases here. The second case is, we'll start now from the root. The root says that our is the equal of na in Arabic. We see some examples. We have ismuna, it means our name. We have Bintuna, which means our daughter, Kitabuna, our book, Shurabatuna, our soul. The same for the next, we will follow the same steps and we will add the suitable letters or suffixes each time. So here, okay, all these five pronouns is the equal of your in English, but in Arabic it's not. In Arabic, to speak with someone, we mention if it's a singular, a singular plural, or dual, or plural, plural, because in Arabic, we don't speak about a plural if we have two. Two is not plural in Arabic. We speak about plural in Arabic when we have three or more. So, two is dual, and it has a special roots. Okay, so we have, I said for masculine, feminine, singular, dual, and plural. We will have five. Here we have your masculine singular is the equal of ka. So I say ismuka, it means you, a singular masculine, your name. Bintuka, you, singular masculine, uh, your daughter. Kitabuka, the same, and shurabatuka. The second is ki. Key is the equal of your, but here it's feminine singular. And we say, Ismuki, your name, you uh, feminine, uh, feminine singular. Uh, Bintuki, the same, your daughter. I'm speaking with a woman, and I say, your, your daughter. Kitabuki, your book. Shurabatuki, your soup, you woman. Woman. Okay, we have here your deal, we say kuma in Arabic, so we need only to add kuma, ismu kuma, bintu kuma, kum for plural group of uh, people, and they should be only men or mix, men and women. Uh, the, sec the last one in this category we have kunna, kunna means your uh, feminine, feminine plural. And we will say, Ism uh, Kunna, Bintu Kunna, Kitabu Kunna, and Shorabat Kunna. This is for the second group, which is the call of your in English. The last group is uh, the absent, when we want to speak about the absent. So here, if I have uh, the equal of his, is only who at the end. So we say, Ism who, his name, Bintu who, his daughter, Kitabuhu, his book, Shurabutu, his soup. 
heard the same is ha in Arabic. So we say ismuha, bintuha, kitabuha, and shorabatuha. For the next is the dual. So the dual is uh, look here. These three are the equal of there in English, but it's not the case in Arabic because the dual is not a group. We have special rules. So when we have there and we mean dual in Arabic, we say huma. So we say ismuhuma, bintuhuma, kitabuhuma, and shurabatuhuma. There, there we say hum. It's the equal of hum. So we say, we say shurabatuhum, kitabuhum, bintuhum, and ismuhum. Therefore, group of uh, female, group of, of women, we say, uh, uh, woman, not group of women. Okay, we say, ismuhunna, bintuhunna, kitabuhunna, achorobatuhunna. So, all what do you need to do when you want to speak about the possessive pronouns in Arabic is to add the, the suitable uh, letter as a suffix to your name. And you should remember all these names. Of course, I will not advise you to memorize all of them. Just practice a lot and your brain or your memory will do hard work. Don't worry. Thank you very much and see you, um, see you in our